trend following and it being one of the best ways of making money in forex trading. The obvious question that I had is, how do you go about catching those big trends? First, when you look at a, a forex chart, every big trend starts and continues in the same way, which is from a breakout, let's, let's say we're looking at a bullish market, to a breakout to a new high. So the best way to long-term trend follow is to look to buy breakouts and continue to buy breakouts. Right. If you do that, okay, you're catching a trend in motion, and it's already begun, but you have the odds in, on, in your favor sure. because simply the trend is in motion. What most traders make the mistake of is they don't bother trying to catch long-term trends anyway. They're, they're short trading and scalping. Right. And they try and buy dips. So what they do is they try and buy the dip down because mm. they want to buy low, sell high. But of course, if you try and pick the bottom, you don't know where it is, you predict it, you're going to lose. You just keep getting stopped out. Right. The sensible trader buys the breakout. Okay, he doesn't get the exact bottom. Got the odds on his side. So in simple terms, the best way is to buy breakouts. It's a bit more complex than that, obviously, but as a general methodology, buying breakouts to catch long-term trends is the best way. Would you say Forex trend following is riskier than day trading then, given that the stops have to be wider? I think with long-term trend following, it's less risky than in day trading or scalping. The problem you have with day trading or scalping is you're trading within random volatility. Uh, you're trading within the noise of the market. The odds of success are not good. Sure, you can have your stop loss within about 10 pips or 20 pips, many people will tell you. You just get stopped out. Right. Um, your winners never cover your losers. There's very few day traders who make money. Uh, it's a really low odds risk. It's a low odds way of, of trading. Right. In trend following, I think what you do have, obviously, you've got the odds in your favor because you can trade probabilities and you can trade the odds. You're not trading market noise. You have far bigger profits to your losses. So yes, in theory, you do take more pips to your stop. You have far bigger profit potential. You have far better odds of success. Gotcha. So would you say that trend following is difficult to learn? No. I mean, trend following is actually um, fairly easy to learn. As we discussed earlier, you only need a simple system. And a simple system you can use for, for long-term trend following. The good thing about long-term trend following is you can have confidence in it because you can see that you have trends that last for many, many weeks and you can go back on a chart and those trends are obviously continuous. They'll always be there. So I would say that trend following is something anyone can learn. All you need is a simple system. The caveat is you do need the patience to wait for the trends and you do need the discipline sure. to cut your losses, which we, we know about anyway. You also need to have the discipline to run a long-term trend without cutting it early. So you want to need to milk that trend for all it's worth. But yes, anyone can learn to trend follow with a simple system. And with the right mindset, it is the best way to make money in Forex. It's got the best odds of success. Uh, I would say that you're going to spend less time being a trend follower than any other form of trading. If you're trading the major currency pairs and, and the crosses, you can you know, make a great income, I would say, in under 30 minutes a day wow. or around 30 minutes a day. So I'd say that if you want to trade Forex markets, go for Forex trend following. Thank you. Thank you.